Let's talk about Cloudflare Warp. Now, I made a video about 1.1.1.1 several years ago, which is very cringy to go back and watch, but it does have good information about what the service is. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the VPN edition, which is called Cloudflare Warp. They basically added it to the 1.1.1.1 service to make it even more robust. It is now available on desktop. Previously, it was only mobile. If you do have a mobile device, you can download it in the app store by just searching 1.1.1.1. I don't want to say those numbers anymore in this video, but I've been using it for the past week on my phone and on my computer as a VPN service, and it's been working extremely well. The best part is it's free. Now, typically you want to be very wary of free VPNs. What I love about Cloudflare is that they're a very established brand in the internet security space. They power millions of websites and I'm fairly confident that I can trust them. There's actually a blog post that I read from 2019 where they're talking about the warp service and they go into a lot of detail about where their mindset is in offering a free service and why you should be able to trust them. So that link will be in the description. If you're concerned about using a free VPN, I suggest reading that blog post and it will probably make you feel better. Now in a minute, I'm going to be explaining what makes this VPN service different from others because there is a significant difference. But what I'm going to go ahead and do first is download it. When you first download it, you'll get this box at the bottom right explaining a little bit about Warp. Cloudflare Warp replaces the connection between your device and the internet with a modern optimized protocol. It also explains their commitment to privacy, how they only collect very limited info about your device and connection, and they reiterate how they will not sell, rent, share, or otherwise disclose any of your personal information. So once it's downloaded, you'll see this warp box. We can go ahead and flip the switch, and now we're connected. My internet is private, and it's that easy. So what makes warp different from other VPNs? In the developer section of their website, they explain that if the site you are visiting is already a Cloudflare customer, the content is immediately sent down to your device. So like I said at the beginning of the video, Cloudflare powers and hosts millions of websites on the internet. So if the site you're visiting while using Warp is part of Cloudflare's network and is a customer of Cloudflare, they'll be able to present that website to you faster than even your internet service provider without a VPN would be able to. Even if they aren't on the Cloudflare network, Warp will use their Cloudflare's global network of data centers to devise the shortest path to whomever you are talking to. Now, if you want to take it a step further, if you use Warp and decide you want to pay for their premium service, which is called Warp Plus, they take it a step further and devise an even shorter path to make the service even faster. So what I'm going to do now is actually do a speed test with Warp connected and without it connected to compare. So as you can see, it recognizes that I'm on connected to Cloudflare Warp. Dallas, Texas is the closest server to me. And we'll go ahead and see what type of connection I have with Warp connected. So I got a 19 millisecond ping, 136 download speed and 103 upload speed. Pretty incredible and pretty similar to what my speeds are when I'm not using a VPN. Now it's important to note that you shouldn't expect your speeds to look like this. It's different depending on your connection, your plan with your internet service provider, and your location. What you really want to compare is how your speeds are different when connected to Warp and without. If it's a drastic difference, that's something to consider whether you want to use it or not. For me, these are incredible speeds and I can feel really good about using Warp when I'm having these speeds. What I'll do now is disconnect from Warp. As you can see, now it recognizes that I'm simply on Google Fiber. It connected me to Austin, which is actually a little closer to me than Dallas, and we'll go ahead and see what kind of speeds I have. Okay, so my speeds are definitely faster when I'm not connected to Warp. Over here on the right is my connection without being connected to Warp, and over here on the left is my connection while connected to Warp. For me, this difference is not significant enough for me to not want to use Warp. Now, if I'm doing something such as gaming, I'll probably want to turn Warp off. But other than that, this difference in my speeds will damn near be unnoticeable for me. So test this out for yourself and you can make a decision on whether it's worth it or not for you. Personally, I'm pretty happy with this. So finally, I have a VPN that I can that I know I can trust that is not costing me anything. It's giving me that peace of mind of having privacy while browsing the internet. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more videos of different products, services, and tools that you will definitely want to catch. So until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.